In this video, we're looking at how to make a youth church flyer like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody, Innocent here and you're welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here. Thank you so much for coming back again. So these are the resources that I'll be using for this particular tutorial. So you can check them out in the link in the description if you want to follow suit with this particular tutorial. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is this design is going to be for social media. So if time permits, I'm going to convert this to A3 as well. So I select my inches over here and then I'm going to select 4x4 and click OK. Now the first thing that I'm going to add to this design is I'm going to add a solid color. So I go to the create new fill or adjustment over here and then I'll add a solid color to this one. I'm going to make use of this particular color code here that is 000C4B and then I'll click OK. I'll go to my resources. And then I'm going to fetch the first particular picture over here. Now, since this is a revival and a youth flyer, I decided to Google up something about youth and prayer. So this is a picture that I found on Google. So I'll press Ctrl T to transform it. And then I'll make sure that it is transformed up to this size like that. And then you check take over here and you're good to go to the next one. Now, these are in, this one is in two folds. You can either choose to maintain this one or you blur it out a little bit. That is up to your decision. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on the blend mode and change to overlay. Now, overlay makes this very dark so you can as well try soft light. But then I prefer the overlay a little bit. Now, we're going to change the opacity from here to about 70%. So probably that's more or less like the soft light. But then that is it. So next thing, I'm going to create a new layer on top of this. And then I'm going to choose my brush tool. Now the brush, you can right click and select the settings. You can change the settings. And then you have to make sure as well that the hardness is 0%. So you press on enter and then you make sure that your color, your foreground color is this particular color code over here. Now you go ahead and you click OK. And make a, a one stroke brush in the middle of the page so you left click just once to create this sort of lighting over there now you press ctrl a and you make sure that it is center both horizontally you press ctrl d and then the selection is off you go ahead and make selection of these three by holding on shift and selecting the last part you press ctrl g and then you're going to name this one to background now, next off, I'm going to add a couple of tests. That is the main heading over here. So I'll go ahead and choose my test tool. I'm using a font called Railway. And then the color is going to be white. So I'll click here. And then I'll start to make a type over here. So the church name is Recharge. Okay, so I'll make sure that this one, I select a bit extra bold. And then I press Ctrl T to transform this one. So next off, I'm going to press Ctrl A and make sure that this is centered horizontally. So it is centered over there. And then I'll right click on the recharge, go to the blending options. And then I'm going to add a gradient overlay to it. The gradient, I'm using the normal gradient over here. But then I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 50% or less. And then I'll click OK from here. Now I'm going to press Ctrl J to make a duplicate of this particular test, drag it down and then I'm going to right click, go to clear layer style to get rid of all the layer styles that we applied on the test. So I'm going to edit this particular test to youth ministry. So apparently it is recharge youth ministry and that I'm going to use the medium over here. And now press Ctrl T to resize this like that. And then I'll position it here. You can press Ctrl T to check whether it's in the middle. Aligning works in Photoshop is very important. Let's go ahead and duplicate that again. And then you're going to change this one to present. So Recharge Youth Ministry presents 
and then that i'm going to use the font called brush script and this will be in the description as well so i'm going to change the color to something yellowish over here like this let's go a bit more yellow um, a bit darker and then we click ok so i'll press ctrl t and then i'll transform this one to a little bit like that so these are the headings that i'm going to use for this video so i'll go ahead and press shift and then select the last one ctrl g to group and then i'm going to change this one to heading so now we move on to the main test that is the main heading of the test and then i'm going to do that with the help of the font called bebas so i'm going to type revive and then i'm going to check over here to make sure that i have my tracking set to minus 100 this is how it looks like if it, the tracking has not been set but then if you change this one to minus 100 you have it close to each other and then you can set this to about 30 or so so you click enter or you hit on enter and then you make sure that it is also in the middle of the work so i'm going to open this one up a little bit like that so this one apparently has to go up small a bit okay and then i'll push this one to a little bit like that and then i'm going to head to right click go to the blending options and then we add a couple of shadows to it so we drop shadow a little bit like this so I click OK. So I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate that. I'll drag it down over here and then I'm going to change this one to Nation. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to right click here, go to the blending options again, and then I'm going to add a gradient this time to this particular Nation. So I'll click on the gradient over here and I've already set the gradient. So I'm going to give you the codes over here these are the color codes if you want to use it and then this is the second one if you want to use it so you click ok and then you come here and then you can set this one to 138 so that the deep part of it will be at this side and then you click ok so next off i'm going to push this one on top a little bit to make sure that it is on top of my revive so I'm going to press Ctrl T to make a little bit of transformations like this. And then I'm going to transform it from the horizontal vertices. I'll do the same thing to my revive because it doesn't look that nice to me. Okay, so I believe this one is looking fine. So I'll select the two of them. Press Ctrl T to transform it again a little bit like this. And then I can push it up here next off i'm going to bring in my second resource and then that has to be on top of the two so it has to be on top of this one and that one so this is just a symbol of something like revive or recharge anything so i'll just place it over here to make sure that it looks good over there so i place it over here and double click and then we are good to go so let's select the three again and try to Close it up a little bit like that. Okay. So next off, I'm going to add the scripture to it. So to do that, I'm going to select my rounded rectangle. Make sure that I have this about 200 or 300. Just anything that you want to, any figure you want to set. And then I'm going to draw something up over here like that. And then I make sure that I press Ctrl A that it is centered. So I'm going to right click and go to convert to smart object. Right click again and then I'm going to rasterize this one because I don't want it to remain a shape. I want to be able to use this particular rectangular marker to, to cut this off. So I'm going to select a portion of it like this and then I'm going to delete it off like that. You get it. So I'll press Ctrl D to deselect and then drag it on top here small a little bit like that. So next off. I'll press Ctrl T to transform this one because it is only a small test that is going to be inside of there. So I'll go to my test and I'll make copy the first one that is Joel 228. And then I'll select my test tool, 
on top of that because it has been rasterized even if you click straight into it you wouldn't have any problem so i'll select that and paste it right over here now i'm going to change this font to acrobat and then i'm going to use the very extra bold so i'll go to my toggle character and change this one to an all test all caps like that and then i will change this one also to minus 20 and that is fine so i'll press ctrl t to transform it but the color is white that means it is going to blend with the white background so we have to change the color so you select it all and then you change it to something dark blue over here so if you have it like this you can drag it inside of your created shape over there and you are good to go so this is going to comprise of the main i call it main because it is the main part of the flyer so i'll select all of it and press ctrl j to group them and then i'm going to call this one main now let's go ahead and add a date and then the venue to this particular flyer so we can push this up a little bit over here like this and then i'll go ahead and select my test tool and over here i'm going to write the date as i've copied already so i'm going to press ctrl t to resize this one and the font that i'm using is acrobat the one that we used in writing this particular one so i'm going to resize it a little bit smaller like that also and then i'll draw a very nice rectangle over here a very nice one very small simple one and make sure that i position it over here i'm going to duplicate this rectangle bring it here and make sure it is very small and i'll spread it out here also so i'll press ctrl a to make sure that this one is centered and i think it's very big so i'll press ctrl t and then i use the z to zoom in okay so if you are wondering you just zoom in and zoom out just like that so you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered right there like that so from there on top of this particular rectangle the first one that we created you're going to add another test and that particular test is going to comprise of this test over here that is the location the icgc temple so i'm going to copy that and paste it into photoshop and then i'm going to select it all by pressing ctrl a change the color to something here any color at all that you pick but make sure that it is something blue that oh because you are putting it in a white background or a white rectangle so you press ctrl t and you resize it and then once you place it over here you can see that it fits just very nicely like that so i'm using the z to zoom in in case you are wondering so you place it over here that looks very nice so we can see that the edges from this end to that end supposed to be equal to that of the rectangle underneath here so i'm going to select that press ctrl t to transform and then i'm going to hold shift and then alt and then i'll close it up a little bit nicely like that so that it is of the same size or almost the same size with that of the beginning of the date and the end of the venue now let's go and duplicate this test again we have another test to add so we're going to select that one and then change the color to white so you click ok and you make sure that this particular or the next test in my case this particular test here is selected so i'm going to paste it over here press ctrl a and then center it nicely over there so i'll drag it on top and then with that i'm going to select these particular staffs group them and then i'm going to call that the location and time location and venue okay so we have to make sure that this is in the center so we're going to press ctrl a and then center it so i believe it is in the center so we are good to go so finally we add in the last thing to this so i'm going to select my rectangle draw a nice rectangle over here and then i'm going to duplicate that make sure the one beneath is moved a little bit on top and then i'm going to press ctrl t 
and drag it over here you see the reason for me doing this very soon so you have it over here and nicely i'm going to add a test on top of these two because this is a shape it has not been rasterized if you write in it it is going to pick it up straight so you better write outside of it so you're going to pick a color from here let's go with this particular color something dark dark blue any dark blue you want and then i'm still using acrobat so i'm going to select the contact to the last digit here copy and then i'm going to paste it over here so i can easily reduce the size from here by dragging at the test set the font size if you drag to the left it reduces the size if you drag to the right it increases the size so i'll place it inside of the rectangle that we created and make sure that it is in the middle so i always use the alignment because i always want my works to be neatly aligned okay so i center it over there and the last thing that i'm going to add would be the church logo apparently the one who asked me to design this came out with this idea that he wants the logo very small at the very tail end of the design i initially wanted to place it over here something like this but then let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you really want the logo to be at this side i think it blends with the design let me know what you think but for the sake of this tutorial let's just keep it over here so i'm going to put that one over here because it has a white background that is why i had to scale that particular rectangle over there so i can open this one up now that i know that the logo is not going to take that much over there so let's finally add this one so we're going to duplicate this contact and then i'm going to edit that one to doors open 630 or whatever it is so the color is yellow this is the code if you want to use it and then you click ok and then you neatly pops it up over here or you leave it over there anyhow you want to refer it so basically that's it any other thing you would want to add to this design is going to be at your own creativity level there is nothing special like a lens flare any lightning effect in this one but i believe this one looks very simple and very clean you can keep your flyers very clean like this one so we can group these ones and call it the contact so that will be it for now if you want to transform this into an a3 you just need to create an a3 size and then you follow suit the same procedures that we did only that your a3 size is going to be a little bit bigger than this particular size that we used over here but the approach to it will be the same thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and then don't forget to check out other church flyers that i've designed i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye